guys, we're coming through in our video. So let me break down what happens whenever you take a narcissist back into your life, okay? And to be fair, let me just start off by saying nothing good. I know a lot of you guys know this. Nothing good is ever going to come out of it. Something might please you very, very shortly in the very beginning whenever you actually take them back. Something. Maybe like your feelings towards them or something might reignite. You might get sex from them. You might get something from them that makes you feel good short term. But, um,. Nothing good is actually going to come out of it, and it's only going to get worse over time. When you take the narcissist back, you are giving them control once again. Once a narcissist has control over you for the first time, all it takes is once. <clears throat> if you have a relationship with the exact same person, which is the narcissist, they will forever have control over you and that is why you can never take a ex narc back ever again because like I said once that person has control over you for the first time even if you think like you took years off and you grew and you developed as a person and you became a much better solid person in that meantime um, They're not even going to take you back because they're not even going to accept that you actually grew and evolved as a person and they're going to bring you down so fast that your little head will spin and every bit of progress that you've made is going to be erased because they're going to get in your head and make you believe that you are who you always were because they want to be on top of you. They can't handle you being above them. And it's a pride and it's an ego thing on the narcissist and they're not logical. They don't think of things what's actually right in front of them. In their head, they're better, even if they're not. Like, they're completely delusional. You could be, like, so much better than them. And just, like, on a higher level, like, in every asset of life. You could be making more money than them, and they could lie and say they're making more money than you when you are clearly making more money than they are. This is how stupid they are. And this is exactly why it'll never work if you take them back. It's only going to get worse. And if you actually do grow and evolve as a person and you decide to take them back, it's not going to last long. Even on your end, you're going to see that they're not worth it. But... <clears throat> um, I feel like a lot of people and some people that I talk to over the phone, um, you guys don't seem to actually grow and evolve as a person and you more so take them back in a desperation type of attempt to get your hands on them to get whatever you want from them whenever you know damn well you shouldn't be doing it but you do it anyways because you miss whatever they brought to the table. And it's a sad fact, but it's true. And you think of the good times you had with them, which is triggering you to go back to them. But you cannot do that. You cannot do this. You must not do this. <clears throat> it only gets worse over time. They only become more psychotic more controlling and there's nothing you can do to stop it because if you do try to stop it they're just not going to deal with you they're not going to play your game and it's not even like you're playing a game it's like your way of life and your way of life is the right way of life when theirs is total chaos and control and abuse to keep you stuck
it's stressful things to even talk about, but we talk about it because we have to get the information across. Um, whenever you are involved with this person in the first place, they were setting up this to happen the entire time even though in the beginning they showed you a side of them that was the most normal they showed you that so you would think they're a regular person so they're a normal person and this is where all the craziness is it's it's behind that mask and you don't see it until you get further in with them because They cannot hide who they are 24-7. They cannot do it. The mask is always going to slip. Their true intentions are always going to show. And what, what keeps people stuck with them is the fact that they did see that side to the narcissist that was somewhat normal. But that's not actually who they are. And the more time you spend around them, the more you know that they are not that normal person that you thought. And it's just a crazy thing. So you, like, you literally do not know somebody until you know somebody. You have to spend time around people. The more you see somebody, the more you know. And that is why you should never get attached. You should never get hooked to somebody before you really play things out and get to know who you're dealing with. And it can be hard sometimes, I understand this. It can be very hard. There's girls like even like, you know, that I talk to and it's like, you can just see, you, you see the good in them, but you shouldn't always do this either. And it's something I even try not to do myself because it can, it can cost you big time if you just choose to see the good in somebody whenever there's a million red flags in front of, in, in, in the way you know what I mean um, that's what they want you to see that's what the narcissist wants you to see is that good side of them and they want you to ignore those red flags they want you to ignore the fact that they are actually toxic as F they think you should accept that when you should never accept something like that because it is abuse. It is toxic energy. It's abuse. It's it's going to do nothing but bring you down in your life. And I don't recommend it. These are things I have put up with in my life and I'll never put up with it again because you always get screwed over in the end anyways. And it just never ends well. You really have to know what you're doing with people nowadays, and honestly, forever. Like, there was this stuff always existed. I just feel like social media is out there now, more is exposed of it. I feel like this stuff is, have, has been going on forever, and people have been messed up like forever. I really believe this. But, like I said, now that social media is out there, things are just getting exposed more and more and more. And we're seeing it more and more and more. We're hearing other people's stories from across the world more and more and more. So, this stuff is happening all over the world, guys, in every single place. People are just crazy. Like, it's, it's plain and simple. And there's chosen ones all around the world that are not like that, that can actually think straight. And are not completely messed up in the head to the point where like they just have no empathy they just cannot bond with other human beings in a healthy manner they could not do it to save their lives they're just like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off running around they don't even know who they are they don't know where to go they're just like existing there there's too many humans in this world existing not knowing what the f they are doing that's the whole problem we we need to get 
with other human beings that actually know what they're doing, that can actually step forward and have a voice. That can actually put words like this into existence. And not just be sitting around all day playing mind games, manipulating, doing all this dumb stuff. It's, it's what so many people are doing today and it's annoying. It literally gives you a headache just to listen to this stuff, just to like be involved with this stuff. And sometimes you don't know it until you know it and that's why I said you got to be careful. You have to really feel somebody out and you have to get to know somebody first. And the people that are actually meant for you are going to take the time to get to know you. I've also had people and I've also dated girls in my life that they were not crazy. They actually weren't. They just so happened to be something that made us go our separate ways. Some things are just not meant to be. Some things have to play out like that. Like, I've been with girls, like, that I knew since high school that moved away and stuff like this. Um, and I would bet things would have worked out if we were just, like, in the same area, if, like, things like that happened and they even agreed themselves but like I said things happen people have to go their separate ways and um, yeah but you can never be too sure of somebody until you're actually sure of them and if they're like avoiding to hang out with you if they're avoiding to get on a deeper level with you, you should see that as sort of a red flag. Like, you don't want to go there. And you especially do not, I repeat, you do not want to let them get you, like, attached or anything like this. Or to get them, or to get you to like them more than you should. Um, <clears throat> and that's exactly why, like, you should never take an ex nerf back either because you've already you've read this book do you want to read the same book again and go through the same chapters that horror story that you've read you already know the outcome you already know the beginning to the end you want to read this book again because it's those types of individuals that never change if those individuals do something like that to you they are very capable of doing it again. If you meet somebody new and they've never done something to you yet, you can give them the, the benefit of the doubt. They've never done something like that to you before. You can give them a bit of a chance. You can start talking to somebody new until they give you a reason not to whenever you start seeing a bunch of red flags. If they actually do something bad, then they obviously gave you a reason not to trust them not to go forward with this and that that is all up to you so basically this is what happens whenever you take an ex nerf back it's going to be chaos it's going to be another horror story that same story that you've had before what's going to be any different do you want to go through that again do you want to feel that again for that little bit of satisfaction because you're gonna get your you you will be satisfied if you take them back. There will be a at least a moment that'll give you a relief, that'll give you a quick fix, that'll give you something good. But you're gonna get hit hard again. Is it worth it? It is absolutely one thousand percent not worth it. You go through so many days, so many months, maybe even a year or two of pain for such a little fix and that is all it is they are drugs they are not good long term they are very short term things they are like drugs they are like addictions and this is exactly how it is so you heard it here first I'm going to cut this video short I'm going to get on with another video and um, if you guys have any other video requests feel free to share them in the comments section I'll be back with the next one. <clears throat>